Hi there and welcome to another Light Rider Tips video. Today I've been out and purchased a Sushi DS DMX interface to use with my Android tablet. I've not used the Sushi before so I thought I'd go out, buy one and connect it up and see what it's like. So this video is all about getting started uh, with the Sushi DS, DS DMX interface. So first off you're going to need obviously an Android tablet. I'm using an Amazon Fire HD 8. You're going to need the Sushi DS itself. You're also going to need an OTG cable, OTG being on the go. Uh, the cable that comes with the Sushi DS is a kind of a regular full size USB cable. Uh, and to be able to connect that to your Android tablet, you need this kind of OTG adapter cable. Um, you need to make sure that you purchase the right one for your tablet. Uh, my Fire HD 8 has a micro USB so uh, these I bought the right cable from Amazon it costs about five or six pounds uh, and uh, as I said they're really quite easy to get hold of but you will need one so if you were to take the the, uh, the Sushi DS connect it up to your OTG cable and plug it into your tablet start Light Rider you're going to see a message that looks something like this and that's simply Light Rider asking if it's allowed to access the USB device that it can see has been plugged in. Uh, so for this you'll need to say OK and if you tick the box that says used by default for this USB device, Light Rider will try and find this Sushi DS every time. Then when you start Light Rider uh, you'll uh, notice in the interface list uh, the Sushi DS is listed. Um, if you tap that straight away, you're going to get this message, uh, which says, Error, this device must be registered at dmxsoft.com before it can be used with Light Rider. So as you can see, straight out of the box, the Sushi DS doesn't work. So what you're going to need to do is head over to dmxsoft.com. Now life isn't quite as straightforward as you might hope. So what you're going to need to do first is, as, as we said, go to dmxsoft.com, click the online store option to, at the top, uh, and uh, try to register your device. Now to do that, you're going to need to download this kind of SUT application. Okay, uh, there are two choices here. You've got one for Windows and one for Mac. Uh, so you need just to download the right uh, kind of little application uh, for your machine. So I'm currently using a Windows machine. I've downloaded the software and installed it and uh, to, to run it you simply uh, you're going to need to tap the Windows key, type store and you'll find that you've got a little application called store upgrade tools. You need to run this and then you'll see immediately on the page beneath uh, on the web page uh, that the option to install the Mac and, and uh, Windows uh, software has disappeared and this web page can now see that the SUT or the store upgrade tools service is activated okay so uh, that's what you need to do right now to be able to uh, actually register your uh, Sushi DS interface okay so what I'm going to do now is uh, unplug the, uh, the Sushi from my Amazon fire and I'm going to plug it into my Windows laptop. Okay, there you go. You could just hear that uh, connect. Now I've already registered mine. So if I attempt to register it again, I'm going to click the register button. Uh, it will already hop over and tell me that it will, it's now reading the interface data. So this web page is reading the interface data from uh, my sushi and telling me that it, as you can see it says this interface is already registered. So I'm going to click OK. And you will see, once it's registered, it may also go through a short routine of uh, upgrading the firmware on your Sushi as well. And then you're going to see in the My Interfaces, a, I'm just going to zoom the screen in a little bit just so that we can see this a bit more clearly. Okay, make it a little bigger. Here we go. Uh, you'll see that you've got uh, your Sushi DS listed. And if you click this, uh, uh, this is all rather clever because what's happening is that the actual uh, DMX soft web site is talking directly to your um, sushi that's plugged into your computer um, and it's kind of offering you some options here the first one I'm going to have a look at uh, to show you is installed applications and this is going to simply show you, showing you all, what's currently active on this particular sushi okay 
and the sushi itself has a, has a memory inside and it knows what it's licensed to use okay so you'll see that it's licensed for currently for 128 live channels um, you can plug it straight in and use things like um, uh, das light for example uh, you can even use it on sunlight 2004 so these are all kind of older versions of a very software um, you'll also notice at the bottom is this little message that says sut services activated which is good news as i said that's what means that this web page is talking to your uh, DS, uh, Sushi DS is plugged into your computer. Uh, what's not shown here is Light Rider, and that's why you saw the error message uh, that popped up when we tried to activate it. So what I'm going to do now is go from installed applications to buy applications. Now there are a couple of options in here uh, that I just want to show you. The first one that you'll need to use uh, at setup is Light Rider. Okay. And you'll see that there are, uh, there's an option for three for 30 days. If you just click the little uh, right pointing chevron, you you'll can see that there are some more options as well. So I'm in the UK, so you can see a, a full license for one year is £12.80. And I could add that to the cart, which means that um, rather than just installing the 30 day license, uh, for Light Rider, I could have a full license for one year for £12.80. Um, if I want a full license for life, that's going to cost me £36.80 right now. Okay, so that's if I just want to use the sushi. Um, if anybody is using an Artnet device with Light Rider, uh, then uh, I'll probably cover this in a separate video, but what you're going to need to purchase here is at the top in the DMX channel section is Artnet. Okay, so you'll you'll notice here that that's like so in the UK again seventy four pounds and forty pence. Um, and uh, I'll as I said I'll cover this um, I expect in a separate video. Um, but that's where you buy an Artnet license. Now it might seem a little bit weird that you're buying an Artnet license for your sushi, but actually. Uh, that's how uh, you need to. That's what you need to do um, to tell Lightrider that you own an Artnet license. So when you start Lightrider, uh, you'll need to have a Sushi uh, device or similar uh, with an Artnet license on there to tell Lightrider that you that is it is allowed to talk to another Artnet device, such as uh, I don't know the AJ Airstream uh, DMX bridge. So um, I'll I'll um, I'll talk about that. Uh, on another day, I think. But for now, just to get ourselves started with Light Rider, um, I'm simply going to go and activate the 30-day option uh, for my sushi. Okay, uh, it says oh, it's been added to my cart, which sound, all sounds very interesting. Um, and I now need to presumably go to the checkout, uh, which isn't actually terribly obvious. So here we go, C cart on the left-hand side. Okay, so I haven't got a promotional code, spelt incorrectly, interesting, uh, and uh, I'm going to place my order. Okay, so here we go, uh, it's got some details on the screen there, uh, it isn't going to cost me anything because this is a free license for 30 days, I'm going to accept the terms and conditions and then click validate. Let's see what happens. Excellent. So your order has been validated successfully. Return to activate and synchronize my device. OK, here we go. Let's try that. Synchronizing my interface. Let's see if I have now got Lightrider installed as an application on this. I have. Here we go. So this is now telling me that Lightrider is now installed and the software will expire on the 22nd of July. So I've got 29 days and 23 hours remaining and a full license. OK, cool. Right. So now I should be able to go back, uh, unplug my uh, sushi from my laptop, plug it in to my Android tablet and uh, hopefully Light Rider will start. Let's try it out. OK, so we're going to start Light Rider up on my um, Amazon Fire. And uh, here we go, this message that we saw previously, which was allow the app Light Rider to access the USB device. So I'm going to tap OK there. And uh, next thing, we will just hop over to the menu. Uh, and you can see that Sushi DS is listed. I'm just going to go and tap that now to see if it will connect 
to my sushi and uh, hey look good news there we go a warning message that says I've now got 29 days remaining on this device so if I'd have purchased a one-year license uh, then I'm sure it would give me a warning message uh, as to how many days I've got left uh, and there you go the SUSE DS uh, interface is now lit bright white um, showing me that Light Rider is connected and talking to the SUSE so that's it there we go that's how you uh, go about purchasing registering uh, your SUSE and then activating the Light Rider license on there uh, via the dmxsoft.com store uh, so that we can then uh, use it with Light Rider. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, then please, you know, like and subscribe to these videos, uh, subscribe to this channel, and then you'll get updates for any future videos that I post. If you've got any questions, then please feel free to put them in the comments below, or you can post them into the Facebook uh, Light Rider Help and Support group. Uh, I know that myself and a few other people there that should be able to help. But that's it for now. So I hope it was useful. Thank you very much.